Okay, we're going to do section 3-4, and I'm working on number 2. I've copied down. we got to take this divided by this. So this goes underneath, and this is what we're dividing by. So I ask myself, what do I multiply x squared by to get 2x to the third? Well, I'd have to multiply this by a 2 and by an x to get this times 2 times 1 is 2, and x times x is x to the x squared is x to the third. So I get 2x to the third, but I must continue to take the 2x times the rest of these. 2x times x is uh, plus 2x squared, and 2x times 1 is plus 2x. And then I draw the line and change the signs and add like uh, terms. These are alike and they cancel, so I forget those. I only have this x squared minus 2x squared. I have a minus 2x and a minus x, which is minus 3x, and I have a plus 1. I hope you remembered how to add like terms. Now i got to figure out what do I take x squared times to get negative 2x squared. I think I have to multiply by negative 2. Negative 2 times x squared is negative 2x squared. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Don't forget to do draw the line, change the signs, and add like terms. These are alike and they cancel. I got x's and x's. I got negative 3 of them plus 2 of them. That's minus 1x. And I got 1 plus a positive 2, which is plus 3. And x doesn't go, x squared doesn't go into x. So this is my remainder, which I say plus my remainder, minus x plus 3, divided by my div divisor. And there's the answer. And this division would be pretty nasty to try to do synthetically. So just do the long division on that. All right, let's do four. So I'm dividing. This is being divided by this. So this goes into this. So I got to put this underneath. Negative five x to the fifth plus 7x to the third minus x. And I'm dividing by x to the third minus x squared plus 1. Okay. So I have to ask myself, what do I multiply this by to get this? I need to multiply by a negative. I see that. And I think an x squared times x to the third makes x to the fifth. So that's my first one, and i got to take it times all three of these. Negative x squared times x to the third is negative. Positive times negative is negative. x to the third, x to the second. You add the exponents, you get x to the fifth. Negative times negative is positive x squared times x squared is x to the fourth. Negative x squared times 1 is negative x squared. Add the like term. Oh, draw the line, change the sign so that we can add like terms. These cancel. This is the only x to the fourth, so I got minus x to the fourth. This is my only x to the third, so I got plus 7x to the third. This is my only x squared in these, so I got plus x squared minus x. None of these terms were alike. Anyway, what do I take times x to the third 
to get negative x to the fourth. I think that's negative x. Negative times a positive is negative. And x times x to the third is, this is x to the one. We add the powers, we get x to the fourth. Negative times a negative is positive. x times x squared is x to the third. Negative times a positive is negative, and x times 1 is x. Draw the line and change these signs so I can add. Plus x to the fourth, minus x to the fourth, they're canceled. These are both x to the thirds. So I got seven of them minus one of them, so that's six x to the third. These are there's only this x squared, which is plus x squared, and I got minus x plus x, which is zero. Okay, so that's done. What do I take x to the third times to get six x to the third? I think I have to multiply by. 6. 6 times x to the third. Negative 6 times x squared. And plus 6. Draw the line and change the signs. Plus 6x to the third, minus 6x to the third. They're gone, which we hope you were. These are both x squared. 1 and 6 are 7 x squared plus negative 6. x to the third does go to x squared. That's my remainder. So we go plus 7 x squared minus 6 over what we were devising, dividing by over our divisor. x to the third minus x squared plus 1. That's the answer. Okay. 10 or 8. So we're taking x squared minus 5 and dividing it by x minus 5. Some people think that might be a factor, but let's see. What do we take x time? Oh, we're supposed to do this with synthetic division. Okay, we get to do the shortcut. So we have to have all the powers of x's. So we got 1x to the third, a second, no x's, and a minus 5, and we're dividing it by, let's see, what makes that be 0? 5. 1 plus nothing is 1. Add down, multiply. 5 times 1 is 5. Add down, multiply, add down. There's my remainder, and here's my quotient. I started with x squared. It goes down in power by 1, so it's x plus 5 plus 20 divided by x minus 5. x plus 5 plus my remainder over my divisor. The 5 came from x minus 5. Twelve. Synthetic. So I've got 1x to the uh, 4, x to the thirds, no x squareds, 2x to the 1s, and a minus 3x to the zeros. So I got 3, 2, 1, 0, powers of x's. And what makes x minus 3, 0 is a plus 3. Add down, 4 plus 0 is 4, times 3 is 12. Add down, 12, times 3 is 36. Add down times 3 is 114. Let me check that. 38 times 3. 114. 
add down. So this was x to the third. So this becomes x squared. This was x squared becomes x. This was x to the fir is first. It goes to the constant. And this is the remainder. So my answer is 4x squared plus 12x plus 38 plus 111 over what I was dividing by, which was x minus 3. Fourteen. So I'm doing four x squareds, no x's, minus one. Dividing it by, see what makes this zero is one half. Add down. Four plus nothing is four. Multiply by a half. Add down. Multiply by a half. Add down. This one in evenly. 4x squared goes to 4x. 0x's go to 2. 2 times a con is a constant. Goes from x to the constant. There was no x's. And this was the constant. It's gone, so we get. Uh, the answer is 4x plus 2 plus a remainder over x minus 1 half, which zero over it. So this is the quotient. That's it. And let's see, next one is 25. It says, we got a polynomial. Minus 2 is one of the, one of its, zeros, and this is degree three, so there's three zeros. Use the techniques in the section to find, find the rest of the real zeros and factor the polynomial. So if minus two is a zero, that means x plus two is a factor. So I'm trying to divide x plus two into this. So I use the minus two synthetically to go into one x to the third, 2x to the seconds, minus 3x's, minus 6. And they said this is a factor, so it should go in evenly. 1 plus 0 is 1, times negative 2 is negative 2. Add those, we get 0, times negative 2 is 0. Add these, I get negative 3, times negative 2 is plus 6. Add went in evenly. And so I had x plus 2, this was x to the 3, goes down to x squared, x and constant. So times x squared minus 3. And let's see if what that is. So if I use the quadratic formula, or if, well, if I'm trying to make this equal to zero, that's pretty simple. If there's not an x, just an x squared, we got x squared minus three. We want to know what makes that equal to zero. We add three to both sides. Take the square root, and we get x equals plus or minus the square root of three. So completely factored, we've got x plus 2, x minus a square root of 3 for the plus 1, and then x plus the square root of 3 for the minus square root of 3. And that, let's see, and it was 1 here, and this times this times this is 1x cubed, so there's no leading coefficient, so this is the original polynomial. This factored is that. 28. Okay. They say minus 1 is a 0 three times. So x plus 1 to the third. So I got to divide this by x plus 1 three times. I got 1x to the fifth. 
2x to the fourth minus 12x to the third minus 38x to the second minus 37 x's minus 12. I had all powers of x's so I didn't have to put any zeros in. And if the factor is x plus 1, we the 0 is minus 1. We use the, my, the 0 in the synthetic division. And we go add down 1 plus 0 is 1. Multiply by minus 1. Add. Multiply by minus 1. Add. Multiply by minus 1. Add, multiply by minus one, uh, one, add, multiply by minus one. Oh, this is minus 37. So that's minus 12. Multiply by negative one, I get 12. They said it was a zero, and so I knew I had to some error in my signs because it had to come out to be zero. It's also a zero three times. So it x minus one went into this evenly, but it should go into this evenly. So I'm gonna, or x plus one. So I'm gonna do minus one into what's left. One plus zero is one times minus one is minus one. Add, multiply, Add, multiply, add, multiply, add, and it went even again. And it's supposed to go three times, so I got to put minus one into my answer. So add, multiply, add, Multiply, add, multiply, and it went in three times. And so what I found is it's x plus 1 cubed times, see this was x to the fifth, 4, 3, x squared, minus x minus 12. And if I'm going to factor that, let's see if I can. I could use the quadratic formula, but I think I can factor. This is going to be x minus 4 and x plus 3. That'll make the minus 12. That makes plus 3x minus 4x is minus x. So that's how this completely factors. X minus, uh, x plus one cubed, which means minus one is a zero. And four is a zero and minus three is a zero. Now I probably could have just graphed this and saw these, but completely factored, it's x plus 1 three times times this times this. And that's what this factors to. Okay, that's everything for 3, 4 that I asked you to do.